Hey, yo, what's good, man? It's your boy, Taylor, and we are back with another episode of Televisions, man. Today, we're going to be going to another film studio shoot, but today we're going to be doing this with some continuous lighting. So I got one of my homies that I've been seeing come through the studio for the past few weeks, and I was like, I just asked her, like, do she model type shit? And I was like, okay, say less. So we had put something together. I shot her a mood board. So last week, I had, like, two uh shoots i did honestly if you want me to be real like if i did the shoots and they went successful they would have be on they would be on the page i had two shoots at the studio man and the sets was fire at bro i shot two rolls of film right i did one roll for both of these shoots it was on two different days tell me why i only got like three good shots out of all of them and the rest were like blurry I said, what? I remember, you know, I wasn't I wasn't shooting bad, you know, I was pretty still, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't shooting on a tripod. Yeah, man, I just got the Mamiya RB67. So, usually I just hold it at the waist and do my thing. Mind you, I just bought a prism finder, so that shit, I know that's gonna be clutch. So I wanted to do some different test shots with it, so we had went to the studio, and I wanted to try some continuous lighting because one of my homies who's like a dope lighting enthusiast, yo, fire he was telling me continuous lighting is a good way to shoot film and a good way to learn how to shoot film because strobes can be a little tricky so i could i mean you know what i'm saying i'm coming from digital with strobes so i could understand the vibes i shot with strobes before and i ain't have no problems i didn't get the results that i wanted though so i know i need to play with strobes a little bit more so i wanted to go back to continuous lighting go back last week we had those two shoots that went well got some clean looks thinking everything looks smooth even when i'm looking into the camera i'm thinking everything is smooth and they weren't i know when i was shooting rashad which is the homie i had my shutter speed like around 1 over 30 um which was like nigga i had to shoot that shit like a sniper you feel me it was like 1 over 60 1 over 30 because my film stock um wasn't high like so now i know like for the next few shoots that i'm gonna try um, with continuous lighting in studio, I want to get some film that got some ISO under it, maybe 400 minimum, um, until I get pretty comfortable. Because I'm preferably, like, yo, I'm an outdoors person. Like, I don't know if y'all notice, I like shooting outdoors more. That's why I don't care about getting a low ISO of film. But, hey, with that all being said, bro, after all that happened, literally after all that happened, I was so frustrated. I ain't gonna cap, a second went through my mind where I wanted to quit. I was just blaming every damn thing, bro. Like when the shit, when the shit came out, I'm like, fuck the film store, man. Fuck this camera. Fuck all this shit. It really like diminished my motivation when that happened. Cause I've never shot like two rolls of film straight and it came out bullshit like that. I've shot a roll. I remember when I shot my first roll of black and white film and I only got one positive back. And I was like, Damn, this it? Like, did they forget to send me the rest? <laughs> like, it's really a science, but I gotta understand too, like, with the type of photography we're doing, what we're bringing ourselves into, it's a different type of game with film, right? It's more investments. But not just with money, it's with your mind, it's with your skill, because you're learning different techniques and lighting techniques, learning how to maneuver with different film stocks and get a photo the way you want it to look. So circling around that, it really just put me in a really frustrated state of mind like a couple of my homies came by uh like not too long after and i showed them and they was talking about i could save a couple i'm like nah man fuck them photos it was definitely a learning experience i think it could have been a couple things i was just simply just out of focus um maybe when i hit the shutter because the show you know the Mamiya is a heavy camera and hitting the shutter too like it's pretty it's a, it's a pretty heavy it's a pretty heavy uh duty camera man so just by the slightest moment of you even tapping the shutter you may can easily move the camera and it could become blurry too um and that could have been something because i did shoot one over 30 and i think one over 60 as well so i gotta come in the game understanding like not all my shots may come out good you feel me and that's that's 100 percent. you feel me like it's all about living and learning trial and error and I enjoy the challenge of film. That's why I prefer film over digital because the challenge, like, and what comes with it, the feel that you get with it. And we just got a new, 
a new addition to the to the video, man. What's my boy on, Austin, man? you know what I'm saying? Y'all make sure y'all hit my boy up on the gram. Since you walked in, man, you could walk in on this conversation of me ruining two rolls of film. But I mean, two rolls. Yeah. After I got my film back, I'm on week transfer at work. I pull it up. Shit's blurry as fuck. <laughs> So when I'm getting you at a super low shutter speed. Yeah. That was just a low shutter speed. So really I should have had a tripod. Yeah, you definitely should have had a tripod. But um you know, learn a curve, you feel me? You know. Excuse me, I'd like to ask really what um your reasoning is for a shutter speed that low on the film camera. I know, you know, settings might be a little different, but Cause my nigga like, like 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 my boy, you gotta see like I mean, you know, you got different film stocks. That day, I shot Gold 200. Were you on the strobe or were you shooting natural? I was shooting continuous. I usually do strobe, but I wanted to learn how to do continuous lighting. I shot with uh, those two low film stocks, so I had to compensate for the lighting. So I had to drop my shutter speed real low, because when I shot it on digital and put my uh, aperture at the lowest f-stop on Mamma Mia, which is 3.5, it still, was like, you know, it was still a little dark, so I had to compensate that with the shutter speed. I'll see what can happen, bro, with dealing with film, which is one of the reasons why I do love it. You know, really um, learning your lesson, it's a challenge, um, but when you get what you want, when you really get the shot that you was looking for, that shit make you feel 10 times better, yo. So with that even being said, bro, just keep pushing. And one thing I wish I did was push that film because that shit was low as fuck. Like, I ain't even think about that. Make sure y'all keep pushing, man. Make sure y'all still showing love and keep shooting, man. Get what you want and get what you can get out of it. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe on this video, man. And make sure you hit me up on the gram. Make sure you hit my boy Austin up on the gram, too. He gonna be posting some shit soon. This nigga really one of the rawest niggas I know and don't post. But he coming soon, though. He coming soon, man. Peace.